di quella birra l'orrendo fuoco tutte le fibre marciano un po' e più spennila occhio fra poco così in cui mostro la spegnerò Hey everybody and here we are at Sepoy's again do we have a show for you? We're going to do it on truffles. Dominic, tell them what you're going to make, because this looks lovely. Well, I, I, as many of you know, I was in Italy for about a month, and uh, I have a lot of land behind the house, so we got together with the mayor, and uh, so we planted 1,500 truffle trees. People say, ah, oh, the truffles. I went and said three, I thought they'd go, well, there's five, six different truffle trees. The, the trees, but underneath there, once you plant them, this truffle goes underneath. And the ones I got, these are certified truffle trees. It's about two and a half to three years. And we plant them all in line, like five meters by six meters. And so this way we could go inside with the tractor to clean them up for the first couple of years. And then after two, I figure two and a half to three years, each tree should give anywhere between one kilo to two kilo. kilo oh, and wow. It's about four, three or four pounds. And so a lot of people don't know, but I bought some truffle back this is what they look like. This is the Bragg truffle. I opened the one up so you could see it. Now they're expensive. They're very expensive. They, they, they go anywhere $200 to 350 For like an ounce. Like uh, and, uh, and wholesale it goes, you know, it goes like a pound, but it's very expensive. And in Europe they, they use it for everything. I just, so while I was there, I was just thinking about the show. So. I, uh, I want to give some ideas or some because people in this in, in, in the states are not as much they as don't the know truffle. about truffles, right? Because first of all, they they tend to be a lot of money, and uh, which they are. But in Italy, there's abundance of it. it. It's still expensive, but they use it for everything. So today, I want to just make a, a a truffle spread that we make over there. We're going to chop it up some truffle with some mushrooms, some olives, and then we're going to put on top of bread with some. Bel Paese cheese. Then, and, uh, then we're going to make a, a sauce, white sauce with mushroom. Then we're going to put truffle on top of the that, pasta. That pasta there, that comes from a town. That's this is my. Is that where you plant it? Yes, this comes that? from my town, and it's a, it's a beautiful cut. I'm thinking of either making a dye for it and import, or importing the pasta. But it's, it's a beautiful. It's beautiful. Is that a, a special flower? It's a, yeah, it's a special flower and it's a special cut. It's called Pantace Toscana. It's I had a bringer with me. So. Yeah, it's nice. I like that the way that's cut. Yeah, so pasta. I'm thinking of maybe after New Year I get the dye to make it myself, but uh -huh. it's a great pasta. And then you're going to make it as a fresh pasta. Right. Wow. Come make it as a fresh pasta. And then we went to this place in my town and they make best pizza. I mean, it's delicious. And it's so simple. They put some dry scamotta, which is right here, dry mozzarella, and they. they Put it in the oven, and then when it comes out, we sprinkle with truffle. And it's like simple. It's like oh. So I said to myself, I just gotta. Can give that a try here? Yeah, and let the people, you know, open their minds up because, they, like I said, it is fun. We're not as used to a custom with truffle as we are over there. Well, that's but, why we're doing this show on the truffle so that right, people in the states can see how magnificent they are. And, Oh, I want to, and then eventually, hopefully, two three years, with the crop that I have, I'm gonna start bringing it in, and, and the reasonable price, and people could get accustomed and start using them. So nice. But this is this is it's, it's a. I mean, I love truffle. I, I'm hooked on it. <laughs> and, but uh, like I said, I think once people are a little nervous, it's a, but once you taste it, you get hooked on it. Well, and, and also you show them how to use it because it's so expensive. You don't want to experiment right. with it. And, and you, know, you want to know what you're doing with it. You exactly. Know. And, you yeah. know, people are afraid to say, oh, I don't know, but once you taste it, and it's really good for you and it's healthy for you. So, and it just stretch out a pizza dough and it's nice and thin. And all they do is just give me the shredder there. Huh? We shred some. This is dry mozzarella. That's what they use it in Italy. They call it pasita. And then just shred it up. Now it's soft inside. Yeah, it is soft. We put it right on top. 
takes a little time, but it's, it's so delicious. I eat this. So in comparison to regular mooch? Yeah, it's it's tasted. It's it's it's, it's a regular mozzarella, but they dry it. They call it a pasita. Oh, that's tasty. And it's got a different taste than... Uh, it's not the same curd as no. the fresh foods, no. Huh. Yeah, it's not as good as the fresh We want to put a lot of it. And uh, then when we, put, we let it cook, and then once we put the truffle on it... Oh, gosh. So you don't bake the truffle? No. We, at the end, when it's done, we put it right on top of it. Uh -huh. Oh, that's an easy pie to do. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, here we go. Shred in a big size. And the good thing is, we sell we sell these mozzarella. It's really okay. So we put this on, put it in the oven about 450 for about 15 20 minutes, and then we'll take it out. And I, I like this nice and thin. Made it nice and thin. Put some olive oil and some fresh breadcrumbs underneath. Oh. Make it nice and crispy. Yeah, never even thought of that trick. Yeah. yeah, put chunks of this on top, and we're going to bake. I mean, people say, oh, it's so simple. You think you added all the pizzas in the world, but wait till you taste this. Yeah, put a little more here. Now, if somebody like this, can they order this from you? Well. <laughs> now they should make it at home. They can make it at home. I don't know about the truffle, though. <laughs> yeah. We're working on it. Hopefully. Um, so, well, if you were to make this, how expensive would that be? Well, I mean, you're talking a twenty-five dollar, fifty dollar. At least, pie? at yeah. least depends on how much truffle you want to put on top. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got you. Okay, so this is good. We put this in the oven, and then we'll take it out. All right, so we got the pizza cooking. Yeah, the pizza's in the and oven. And we're gonna put the truffle on that when it's done. Right. But now you want to make a spread. For, yeah, for we the, just want to do a spread. Bread there. Right. So this is what we do over there. We get the truffle. We chop them. Divine. They look delicious. I don't think people, a lot of people have seen it, so we're just going to chop these up. I mean, in, in Italy, they, and then you can't make it be too strong, so we just mix it with a little bit of, and these are just some mushroom that I blanched. Put a little garlic and some olives. All I want to do is put a little, just a little bit of pepper, just a little salt, and we're just going to chop these up. Then with a little olive oil, I think I had olive oil here before. And. I wish you could smell that truffle. Like it's not overpowered, but it's so. And then you Amazing. put this. You put this on top of. Uh, we could make bruschetta out of it. I like. We had um, this beautiful antique restaurant on top of the mountain, and they made bruschetta. They put the bel paese on it, and, and with a nice wine, we had. <laughs> we just, like you ate well. Oh my goodness! It was just like. It's a beautiful combination. I like this. Do it nice and small. Now you got the garlic there. And again, you wouldn't want to put that in the food processor. You no, want to no, it. it's just you, because you don't want to emulsify. You right. want a little bit Chunky. to be in there, and it's yeah. so you chop a little bit. It's good exercise, anyway. So. Yeah. Chop it up. Get some hostility out here. Yeah, there you go. Just put a little oil in. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> But serious, folks. I, uh, you know, a lot of people come, come to us and um, compliment at the show. We, we thank you for, for watching, tuning us. I mean, yeah, it feels great to be doing another show. I'm we so are glad that we we're are. Doing. <laughs> we did, we're this doing is what you see over here. We appreciate it. And, you know, we work hard at our store. To, so yeah, we just and bring just a little bit. You did redo the store. The yes, front of the did. store looks great. The kitchen back here is so much bigger. Yeah, we didn't have planned to do it, but it just happened. So here we are. So it makes it easier and for us so we get a bigger store for for us to. Well, especially during the holidays, for how busy you are. This place oh, definitely. Is like a oh, okay. This is 
fine enough. Beautiful. Just want to taste it for the salt and pepper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know something's good when you taste it and your eyes roll. <laughs> you don't want to waste anything, so we got this. Now I'm gonna get some bread. Right there. And now when you have company, or even for yourself, we just cut it up. You toast these a little bit, or you could just put them like this. I like the crusty part since we're not toasting them. So we get a little bit of cheese. I remember that You can use any cheese. cheese. Yeah, That's you can use any cheese. In the you can use any cheese that you, you want. That you put in I your like. vodka sauce, is yeah. that right? Yeah. It's so delicious. Now we get the cheese. We spread it. Oh, this is great for the holidays. Oh, and, and you, you, you can make them ahead of time. You can put them in the oven if you want a little bit. We'll make a few of these. My and mouth is watering. Over and then here. we'll we'll uh, we'll eat them. I don't know about you, you but I'm gonna take. Have some. I hit this one. I cut that half. I don't like the really really crunchy. Here you go, Pete. Uh, you eat yours first. <laughs> Oh my God. People think that it doesn't have any really taste. Oh it's my just... God. That is amazing. Oh. Petey, put the camera down. Try that. Okay, now we're going to make that pasta from the town where yep. you come from. Yeah, we're going to got the pizza ready to go. We're going to take it out soon. I love the cut on that. Oh, it's, I'm, I love it. It's this. an unusual pasta. Yes, it is. We're going to go and cook half of it. Because I'm going to save some of it. We need too much food already, so. It's kind of like a noodle, but not a noodle. Yeah, they call it, like I said, tocca stracciate toscana. Look at that, how it's going to hold the sauce. Nice. You can make that with any veggies. Yeah, yeah, that looks delicious. So I'm going to chop, like I said, this is a little portobello. Little mushrooms, some uh, regular mushrooms. We're just gonna dice it up, but I want some big size in there, especially with the portobello. Yeah, you grilled that or blanched that? Yeah, or? I just blanched that a uh -huh. little bit. I'm gonna. Oh, that's gonna be uh, amazing. Gonna just chop it all up. And you could use any mushrooms you want. And now, the truffle is from the mushroom family. Is that? It's close it's by. It's, yeah, so it's close by, but it's got a different taste than yeah. than uh, this is a half an onion than uh, the mushrooms. It's like oh, you know, it's like I said once. You, and they make oil out of that as well. Yeah. Or do you soak it? Uh, no, I, I soaked it with that, but you could make a truffle. They flavor that, but the way they do it, they don't put too much. But when we're gonna do it in a couple of years, we're gonna do the real thing. So. We used to use the truffle oil when we were doing the demos yep. on the pasta. It's delicious. So oh I'm God. just going to put a little bit of the oil in the, in the frying pan. I'll put the onions in there. I'm going to put the tomato. You got the sauce, the, the, the pasta. In Italy, they keep it simple. They don't use, you know, if you want to put a little wine, you could, but they use a lot of pasta water. Now I'm going to chop some, uh, some of these mushrooms. I want to keep some whole because the way the pasta is, you could you could eat the pasta with the spoon, so you it's okay to to use the bigger little bigger and the bigger size of the mushrooms. 
kind of like it too. Yeah. It's a garlic. That looks terrific. Now that's your roasted garlic? Yes. Yep. Then I'm going to put a couple of truffles in there. Oh, not on. Yeah, that's good. Normally, believe me, nobody uses all these truffles like we do. No, you're using a lot. Not right even now. a restaurant, but we're taking advantage because I bought these from Italy, so. This is gold. That's why I got the gown gold to match it. Ah. I, I wish you could smell the smell of vision. <laughs> and then you see some restaurant talk show. They, they pull like one or two. They, but they use they use a cheese grater and just go. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, they, they, they get a lot of miles out of the flavor. Yeah, so. I don't know what it is, but my mouth is still watering. <laughs> like I said, now we use a little more pasta water. We, we don't want to put, like I said, you could put water or wine, you could put this, but we don't want to take anything away from the truffle and the mushroom. You just want to taste that. Yeah. We want to focus on that. So when you, we put the pasta things together, and if you want to put some cheese, that's fine. Just keep it simple. And then on the top, we just Put some more truffle and that's it. Just gonna taste it for some salt but the truffle. The smell it gives it a, a, a beautiful aroma. Salt in it. Okay. Flour? Uh, I'm gonna just a little bit to thicken it. I'm gonna put it on the corner huh? just a little bit, just to put this on the corner just to take it a little bit. And then it just depends how many mushrooms you use, you could use your judgment, but if you see the onions are not fully cooked, you just wanna just give some out. of the flavor. How's the pasta okay. coming? Al dente not yet? That pasta is made with the bronze, made out of bronze dye, so it's going to take a little longer. And all the flour is from La Puglia and La Campania region. So it's all right, Tom, you got the pastas cooking, you got the mushrooms over yeah. there and the truffles. Now we're going to take the pasta, we're going to, this is, we're going to cook this al dente to PD because he likes it al dente. Amen. <laughs> going to put it right in here. Oh, two, pot, two, pot, two pots and it's done. That's it. Nice. Cut that off. See if we need some water here. Now, instead of uh, any cream or anything, I don't want to take away, but I'm just going to put two of those cheeses in there just to, to give oh, it a nice. little body because I don't want to put butter or anything. So, this just gives it a little body and it's subtle. Turn it a little bit and this is ready to go. The cook time is minimal except for the pasta. Yes, it's it, it's like literally like five minutes. This is done. Oh yeah, the sauce came out very nice on that. Oh it's nice and coated. Light. Put this right in here. Now we're going to put a little bit of this truffle that we put on the top, just to, to, to really, really bring out the, the truffle taste. Just drizzle some oil and we're ready to go. That looks wonderful. Okay, as I was saying about the steaks over there, they keep it nice and simple. What do you got, two ribeyes there? Yes, two ribeye. Put a little oil. Oh my God, I'm standing here downwind from the pasta sauce. Salt. Oh, oh my God, it's delicious. A little wonderful. pepper. 
and we're going to put it on top of our, our grill. If you don't have a grill, you could put it in a frying pan with ridges or a regular frying pan. Put just a little bit of oil in there. And when I had this, it's like, and I saw how simple it was, I couldn't imagine that it would taste so good. It's um, so simple, right? Yeah. Some more salt. Why that's really not going to get your pizza? Yeah. And we just let the let that grill it. Just turn it just a couple of times. Ah, oh, the pizza came out of the oven. Awesome. There you go, honey. Nice and dark on the bottom. Nice and crispy. Okay. Now, we're going to cut this and then we're going to put truffle on it. So just give me a nice oval dish to put it on and we just... I bought a nice scissor for the pizza and I forgot to bring it with me. <laughs> you hear the crispiness and you see how the, the mozzarella pasita got a nice... I, and it brown is different from the, the regular mozzarella. Yeah, it's a lot different from regular mozzarella. Okay, now we're gonna cut small pieces here. Oh, that crust came out perfect. Oh, it's, our pizza dough is... Yeah, you've got great pizza dough here, Dominic. You hear the, the steak sizzling over there? We're yeah. only gonna turn it once or twice. I had your lasagna sheets. I made lasagna the other day. Oh, oh. my God. That, you you got to make lasagna with his lasagna sheets. First of all, it's so much easier because you don't even really have to cook them. You just wash the flour off and lay, layer them. Bake it in the oven. That's what I did anyway. Worked out great. Okay. So now... Okay, now this, this is it. we got the truffle here. Already chopped. Just going to... Tablespoons of goodness right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and over there they put abundance of it. I'm like, that with a nice, we had some nice, oh, uh, nice uh, wine called Pecorino. Oh, it was like. If you do that, you can flip your steaks or? Yeah, you can put this in here. Then we'll taste it still nice and warm. After that, here's a pork for you. Oh, baby. Perfect, right? Yep. Beautiful. I'm putting a lot on. Yes, you are. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing, but you read my mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, just we leave some of these planes for, for the boys here. That's okay. It. There we go. Oh my God, that looks like a, amazing. It's a great appetizer, huh? You know, we could taste some before the, while we waited for the steak. All right, well, then. Yeah, the steak has got to go a few more minutes. Let's taste. Well, let's taste it. Oh. Oh my God. You taste that truffle? Oh my God. Katie, put the camera down. Oh my God, Dominic, that was amazing. Oh, Absolutely I know, we amazing. had a couple, we cheated, we couldn't wait we for the did. We did, we ate some. But anyway, the steaks are finally ready. Yeah, we let them rest a little bit, and we just pick one. Like I said. Oh, baby. Look at that, how, it's almost Pittsburgh style. Now, this, they serve it like this. Little salad to put a little bit of oil and lemon on the top, and that, and that's it. You keep it simple. Now this this is where it comes. Here's this truffle. They put it right in the middle. Now a jar like that is that really expensive? Yeah, this is about thirty-five dollars, forty dollars. I got it wholesale. Now. People say, oh, what's so special about it? It's not 
taken away from the steak sauces, mushroom sauces, any other sauce. But once you taste this, it's like, ah. So I'm just going to take just a little piece here. I'm going to put just a little bit on the top. Lillian, you have to wait. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Normally I don't do this, but... Forget mm. about it. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Your face says it all. I can't explain it. The combination with the truffle and the steak. It's just... Ah, they go hand they're in They're like hand. made for each other. Yeah. And it's a taste that I, yeah, I can't explain it, but it just brings every, everything together in your mouth, so... Uh, That's I it, just, we did it all today. Yeah, we just wanted to enlighten the situation on, uh, on truffle. Yeah. So, so people hear about it, they don't know, they think it's chalk or whatever, you, so hopefully we enlighten and put some, uh, you know, some more information in your thinking caps. <laughs> And so if you need speaking. to know anything about truffles, here's the new uh, go-to man, right here, right here. So with, uh, without with further delay, say, we're gonna need some of the pasta, the pizza, some of the the bread over here. So and we're gonna feast. And uh, want to thank you all for letting us in your living room tonight, so we could show you how to do some truffles. Dominic, what a great show! Oh, what a great show! And one last thing. This is what a truffle looks like. <laughs> so, thank you for for enjoy for inviting us. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye now. Di quella pira, l'orendo foco.